Okay, this is the last fucking straw, I swear to God. I'm so sick and fucking tired of this. Okay, so, if you've been following my Twitter for the past year or so, you would know that I fucking despise everything about buying college textbooks. I didn't think it was that bad before coming here. Holy fucking shit, was I in for a surprise. I hate buying college textbooks so much. All right, so, first of all, when you go to buy a college textbook, you just you got to look up all this shit, and there's got to be a specific edition and all this stupid bullshit, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate, so it's kind of still lodged in my throat right now. But in any case, pay so much fucking money for this bullshit. In fact, here's my receipt from last semester's book buying. Freshman Seminar. 2160 for a paperback novel that probably would have cost me five bucks if I just took it off of Amazon um public speaking book that we use sparingly that we use like once every month in that class 11905 and the best part about that one is that it wasn't even binded I had to buy a fucking binder because they couldn't fucking take another two seconds of their day to put a fucking back on it. So I had to, so it was, it was the one with a three hole punch in it. It was loose fucking leaf textbook. A hundred nineteen dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, here's another one. Understanding music. Oh, good shit. Seventy-seven thirty-five. That was the used edition. Used. And, uh, yeah. Um, this book right here. Rules for Writers. 5535. I didn't even open it! All year! This was last semester that I bought this. And it's not even open. $55 down the drain. Um, everything is an argument. Uh, that's English composition book. $62.35. And this wasn't even the full edition. This was like volume one. There is a version that I took off of the library Genesis on here that's three times as long. $62.35. And I guess that's everything that I bought last semester. Let's, let's add this up now. $342.08. And eight cents. Really? For fucking stupid ass sheets of paper stuck together with this little thingamajig? Some books that didn't even bother doing that much even? Oh, oh but children, the best is yet to come. Guess how much money I got back when I went to return though. Back to this list. Public speaking. They didn't buy it back. Zero dollars and zero cents. Freshman seminar book. For something. So a net return of... Well, um, that's not terrible. That's like 20%, so that's pretty decent. Um, rules for writers. This fucking hunk of shit. Four dollars. Um, everything is an argument. Uh, ten dollars. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Every single year, these assholes decide that, hey, you know what we should do? We should release a brand new edition of the exact same fucking book, except let's change uh, just one word on page 76 so that we can release it as a brand new edition for 200 fucking dollars 
making the original version absolutely worthless. How's that fucking sound? Oh, that sounds great. Fuck you, textbook companies. Fuck you up the fucking ass and through the mouth, t entangling barbed wire throughout your intestines. I hope you bleed profusely through your dicks, through whatever genitalia you may have. You may be a man, you may be a woman, you may be gender fluid, you may be a fucking... You may be a fucking Transformers, robots in disguise, motherfucker. I don't give a shit what the fuck you want to call yourself. I hope you fucking bleed profusely from your genitalia because this is fucking unacceptable. I don't even give a shit if free tuition. Fuck that. Do something about these fucking textbooks. This is fucking worthless. Didn't open it once. Paid 55 fucking dollars. I could have bought a considerably decent brand new video game for that money. I could have bought Fallout 4 for that money. I got 94 or so hours out of Fallout 4. Let me, let me tell you how many hours I got out of this. 0.0! .0! <laughs> ah! <laughs> worthless! Fucking worthless shit. Oh my god. It pissed me off to no end. This fucking bullshit. Pay so much fucking money for these stupid ass books that I use once and then. <laughs> $342 for these books that I never use. <sighs> Fuck you, fucking textbook companies. Brand spanking new book. Never open once, and it's worth four dollars because you decided to change one word on page 76. <laughs> I don't even want. I don't even want to begin on another textbook I bought. There's another textbook that I bought for this semester. Hundred and seventy-two dollars. $72 for a fucking textbook. I used it for one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> one day. One day. And that's all. That's the entirety. <laughs> you know what shirt I'm wearing? You know, this is the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Someone should put this on so I can stand next to them. Because I have to be some sort of stupid ass motherfucker to pay $172 for a fucking book that I used once in my life. <sighs> This needs to fucking change, and I'm not even kidding. If we could crack down on this shit, can we make it a requirement that textbooks have to last like seven years before a new edition comes out? At least seven years. I'd say eight years, just to get a, a cycle of two years worth of graduates. You know? For two cycles, not two years. Two cycles of graduates, you know. A freshman, a senior, and then graduate. Because when you're looking at a book that was first published in like 2003, and it's already on the fucking 7th edition. Why? For what reason? Could you possibly need to change it that much? I mean, I understand if you want to amend amend something, you know, you'd release a second edition. Why every three months do you need to amend something? Huh? Are you that fucking idiotic? Why are we buying textbooks from you if you can't even fucking get it right the sixth fucking time before you need to release 10,000 editions of the same fucking textbook with one word change? Oh! I hate textbooks with all my fucking heart, which is why I implore you all to be intelligent when it comes to buying textbooks when you get to college.
Oh my fucking goodness, be intelligent, please. Because you are going to run yourself dry of fucking money with useless ass fucking books that you use once in your fucking life. So here's my suggestion to you. One, wait until you're through one week of the class. And then you decide if you want to buy the book or not. One week. That should be two or three times that you attend the class. I'd even maybe give it a two and a half. Try and get try and get through the class period five times before saying, okay, do I want to keep doing this? Do I want to get the textbook? And if you so choose, please God, just download an edition off the internet. Because fuck the textbook companies. Just fuck them. They don't deserve your money if they're going to change this shit every fucking year and make the thing that you paid $55 for not nine months ago absolutely worthless! So, um, I'm going to burn this if I can't find, if I can find anywhere to sell this for over like $20. I'm gonna do that, but if I don't, I'm gonna burn this on camera. So hopefully you can look forward to that. And yeah. Rules for Writer, seventh edition. Fuck you, Bedward St. Martin's. Making this bullshit. Look at this. This entire thing is fucking worthless. Unopened, brand new, unmolested. It's worthless now. Fuck you textbook companies and fuck everything you stand for fucking capitalism at its finest fucking load of shit this is the american fucking dream fucking college students that are already poor enough to begin with mind you out of more of their fucking money that they're barely scraping together out of their asshole off the internet well in my case off the internet most fucking people could only dream of getting extra money off the internet i'm sitting here Lucky as I can fucking be that I got a smash hit video once in my life so I can live off of that shit and pay back this shit on these fucking stupid ass books. I, I, this video's gone on long enough. I fucking hate everything that has to do with textbook companies. I don't even give a shit if I have to pay tuition. Do something about these fucking textbook companies before I fucking slit my own fucking wrists in fucking anger. I swear to God, thank you for watching. Goodbye.